Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic is about visualizing, measuring, and finding the perimeter of any given plane figure. Okay, so what is perimeter? The perimeter is the distance around an object. And to determine the perimeter of any plane figure, you can add the length of all sides together. So we can find the perimeter of a plane figure or any plane figure by adding the measurement of its sides. Okay, so let us visualize the perimeter of any plane figure. And let's take the rectangle below as our example. So this is a rectangle. Okay, so as you can see, ang rectangle na to ay binubuo ng mga da, uh, broken lines. So, let's count how many lines are there in each side. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, meron tayong nabilang na 14 lines. Okay, so yung ating nabilang na 14 lines, that is the perimeter of this rectangle, which is 14 units. Okay, let's have another example on how to visualize the perimeter. So, let's have this triangle. So, if, uh, if we're going to use a ruler, so this triangle measures 4 cm. So, yung kanyang sides ay 4 cm lahat. Therefore, this triangle is an equilateral triangle. Okay, so to find the perimeter of this triangle, i-add lang natin ang sukat ng kanyang mga sides. Or we can use this formula, P is equal to S plus S plus S. So, since tatlo lang ang sides ng triangle, kaya 3 sides lang ang ating pagsasamasamahin. Then, after nyan, we're going to substitute the value of S or the sides sa ating formula. So, we now have P equals 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm. Then, we will get the perimeter of this triangle is 12 cm. From the previous examples, we can say that perimeter is the total length around the object. And did you know that the word perimeter comes from the Greek word peri, which means around, and metron, which means measure? Okay, so how to find the perimeter? So, we can use a ruler to measure the length of the sides of a small regular shape. So, kung ating, kung susukat lamang tayo ng maliliit na regular shape, so pwede tayong gumamit ng ruler. Pero kung malakihang uh, shape naman or polygon ng ating susukatin, pwede tayong gumamit ng meter stick. So, depende yon sa size ng ating polygon na susukatin. So, as of now, since maliliit lang na regular shape ang ating i-measure, so gagamit lamang tayo ng ruler. And aside from that, so the perimeter is determined by adding the lengths of the sides or edges of the shape. So, Yun nga, para makuha natin ng perimeter, i-add lamang natin ng ang sukat ng mga sides or haba ng mga sides or edges ng isang polygon. Okay, so we also use different formulas para mas madali nating ma-determine or ma-solve ang perimeter ng isang uh, plane figure. Okay, so let's have an example. So we have square. O, ano ba ang properties ng square? So, ang square ay may 4 equal sides. Okay, so this is a square and let's say that this square measures or the size of the square measures 8 cm. So, kung 8 cm to, ibig sabihin lahat ng sides niya measures 8 cm. So, to get the perimeter of the square, we will just add all the measurement of its sides. So, perimeter is equal to Sides plus sides plus sides plus sides since apat ang sides ng square kaya apat yung ating pagsasamasamahin. Then, to shorten this formula, 
pwede nating sabihin na P is equal to 4 times S since apat ang sides ng square at pare-pareho naman ang kanyang sukat, imumultiply lamang natin ang measurement ng sides sa 4. Okay, then substitute the given values to the formula. So, P is equals to 4 times 8 cm. 8 cm yung value ng sides. Then multiply, we will get the perimeter of this square is 32 cm. Don't forget na maglagay kayo ng unit of measure sa inyong final answer kasi napakahalaga niyan sa pagkuha ng perimeter. Then, kapag wala naman kayo nakitang unit of measures, ang ilalagay nyo na lang is units. Okay, so let's have rectangle. So, ang rectangle, ang dimensions ng rect rectangle ay meron siyang length and width. So, let's say that the measurement of the width of this rectangle is 8 cm and its length is 12 cm. So, again, we will just add all the measurement of its sides since rectangle ang pinag-uusapan, length and width ang ating dimensions. So, perimeter is equals to length plus length plus width plus width. Dalawa ang length at dalawa ang width. Okay, so yung formula natin is P equals twice the length added sa twice ng width. Then after nyan, imumultiply or isasubstitute natin yung mga given values sa ating formula. So P is equals to, ano ba ang measurement ng length? So we have 12 cm, then multiplied by 2. Bakit may multiply sa 2? Dahil dalawa ang ating length sa rectangle. Then same width, the width which is 8 cm multiplied by 2 dahil dalawa ang width ng rectangle. Then, isimplify natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 2 times 12 is 24 cm added to 2 times 8 cm that is 16 cm. Then, i-add na natin ang dalawang uh, sukat. So, we will get the perimeter of this rectangle is 40 cm. Let's now proceed on our activity. Find the perimeter of the following. So, we have square. So, kung nakikita nyo, square has 4 equal sides. So, we will use the formula P is equals to 4 times S. Then, substitute the given values to the formula P is equals to 4 times 4 cm. So, sinubstitute natin yung measurement ng sides ng square na to dito sa ating formula. That is 4 cm. Then, get the product. We will get the perimeter of this square na 16 cm. Okay, next is a trapezoid. So, dito sa trapezoid na to, given lamang yung measurement ng isang base which is 8 cm and yung 5 cm yung sides niya, ito naman ay congruent or pantay. So, let's just assume that this base, yung another base, is 4 cm. Hindi kasi binigay yung given sides ng another, ay yung given measurement ng base. So, mag-assume lang tayo. So, P is equals to S plus S plus S plus S. Since, uh, perimeter naman, ina-add lang natin yung mga sides. So, wala tayong specific formula dahil magkaiba yung sukat ng kanyang base. So, i-add lang natin yung mga sides. So, substitute the given value to the formula. So, we have P is equals to 8, yung ating base, yung ating sides, side 1. So, plus 4, assume value lang natin to. Plus 5 plus 5. So, we will now get the perimeter of this trapezoid, which is 22 decimeter. Number 3. We're going to find the perimeter of this rectangle given the length and the width. The length is 3 millimeters and the width is 7 millimeters. So, we will use this formula P is equals to 2L plus 2W. Then, substitute natin sa ating uh, formula yung mga given values. P is equals to 2 times 3 plus 2 times 7. Then, simplify natin 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 7 is 14. Then, add natin yung dalawang dimension. So, we will get 20 mm as the perimeter of this rectangle. 
Next, number four. So, this is a triangle. So, since hindi naman natin, hindi pantay-pantay ang sukat ng mga triangle na to, we will just add all the given sides to find the perimeter of this triangle. So, P is equals to 8 plus 12 plus 10 decimeter. And the perimeter of this triangle is 20 decimeter. Next, this is a parallelogram. So, ang parallelogram ay kamukha ng rectangle. Yung dalawa sa mga sides niya ay dalawang sides or two pairs of sides are equal. So, kung ang measurement nito is 23 cm, therefore, yung measurement itong another base is 23 cm. Then, yung kanyang measurement ng isang sides ay 16 cm, pantay siya sa sukat ng nasa kaluwang side. Therefore, i-add lang natin ang ating mga sides. Pwede natin gamitin yung formula ng rectangle which is twice the length plus twice the width. So, P is equals to 23 plus 23 plus 16 plus 16. And the peri uh, perimeter of this parallelogram is 78 cm. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.